Hi, this is Anushka. Welcome back to my channel. Today, the recipe that I'm using is kind of uh, an experiment that I did because I had dates that I bought and had stacked away. Uh, you know, the one that you buy one get one free, and you just want to be greedy and buy and stack it up. And I realized it's just about to expire, so I just decided to make date jam out of it. So stick around. Let's go in the kitchen and let's make some jam. Okay, so we have some de-seeded dates. Um, you can just use the regular dates. Uh, I generally buy the buy the buy one get one free, but um, that was not available. So just easier because it doesn't have to be any fancy dates. It's just like regular dates. Uh, the ones I used earlier, I cut them by myself. You just sit them right in the center with a knife, remove the seed, and just take it off. So this is like 500 grams of uh, dates. You just need to put it in the bowl. I will simmer some water in the pan. Um, so we just pour the water over. It's not boiling hot. It's just simmering. So let's just pour it over. And let it just uh, sit for around 20 minutes. It's really hard now, so when it's softer, I will show you how it is. So the dates have softened. If you'd like to use boiling water, you can because that will uh, pass through the process. Uh, just have to see it's a bit softer. See, they're not like um, hard like compared to earlier. So I just take some of these dates. Uh, drain the water. You can reuse the water. I mean, it's sweet, so you can use it for whatever creative purposes you'd like. Uh, so, I'm gonna, uh, there's still some more dates, but I'm gonna just blend these first because uh, I don't want too much load on the blender. So, you can do the same. Or if you have a fancy food processor, processor that takes that kind of load, then uh, you can blend the whole batch. But I always prefer to do it uh, step by step because I've had bad experiences. Okay. So just blend it. Uh, there's still a lot of chunks. So I'm gonna blend some more till you get a smooth paste. some of the water in order to uh, blend it uh, some more because it's a bit too dry uh, that's all I use I mean it's just dates and the water that I use to uh, soak the dates in so until the you get the desired consistency okay so we've got to a smoother consistency now I did add a little more water um, the reason I don't like to add too much water is because I just um, think in terms of its uh, shelf life. I do refrigerate this, so I'm okay with this right now. So let me just transfer this. And uh, if there are a few chunks in your date jam, date jam, date paste, whatever you like to call it, um, that's okay. Just consider yourself a lucky one because you got an extra bit of sweetness. Yeah, so you can either have this uh, jam by itself, like I mean, like a like a spread. You can use it with uh, the peanut butter. If you haven't seen my video yet, you can click here uh, to check out my peanut butter recipe, homemade peanut butter recipe, and you can make your own uh, PBJ sandwich. PBJ with a date jam. Like You're done. Your date jam is ready. Um, see how smooth it is. Just like this, put it in a jar. And uh, I know it's gonna be sweet. There's nothing much to taste because it's sweet, but just to sweeten up my mouth. Mm. So um, this is excellent for people who don't want to, who have a certain 
uh, conditions where they don't want to just spike up their blood glucose levels because if you're uh, i highly recommend a refined sugar detox if you have a health condition or not it's great because refined sugar is not good for your health and it has a lot of adverse effects so um if you want to uh, substitute refined sugar with things like jaggery it's it's healthier because it's lesser processed or coconut sugar whatever you like to call it or whatever alternatives you'll use it will still put a load on your uh, blood glucose levels uh, uh because of the glycemic index however dates on the other hand uh they do not put that much of a load uh so this is a recipe uh easy recipe for people who have a sweet tooth i, I mean in jams in general they contain a lot of sugar in them so this is just dates so date based it so that's it my easy peasy date jam recipe i also use this besides as a spread i use it to sweeten my oatmeal and smoothies and in the next video i'm going to be using the date jam and my homemade peanut butter to make a very interesting recipe so if you haven't subscribed yet this is the right time like subscribe and see you later have a lovely day bye it's softer i will show you how it is yeah you can eat it first now Have a nice day and do leave your do leave your comments below. Bye.